I'm going to talk about some things that are common sense uh, that you probably already know about. And then uh, I'm going to talk about some things that hopefully you haven't considered and uh, you should. So I want you to start off by enrolling and being aware of three uh, programs um, that I think are good. Um, one of them is the Transition Assistance Program, TAP. Um, the Integrated Disability Evaluation System, that's called IDES, and then the VA Solid Start Program. I'll go into uh, those a little bit more in depth here. We're going to do a screen share, but um, in addition to that, you know, think about your transferable skills. Um, look for military-friendly employers. Um, you're going to have to ditch the uh, military jargon. Acronyms left and right, you're going to have to leave those... Uh, Leave those behind. I mean, there's definitely some uh, acronyms in the civilian world, but not near as many. Um, even things like uh, learning how to tell time uh, in non-military time. That's something you're going to need to address. Um, you know, you don't need to call everybody sir and ma'am. Um, you know, your boss may enjoy that, but, you know, there's, there's little nuances that, you know, you're going to find yourself like, oh, yeah, yeah, the meeting's at 1500. And they're like, what's a 1500? Um, so these are things just be aware of. Uh, a lot of these things, you'll just have to adapt to them. But, you know, the more you know, the better you're going to do. Um, also, begin working on your VA compensation uh, claim paperwork as soon as possible. Declare everything um, on your outgoing medical exam. The sooner you finish this process and the more thorough you are, um, you're going to uh, get a fair um, compensation and uh, disability rating. So let's go into the Integrated Disability Evaluation System. Um, when a service member develops a medical condition that makes them unable to perform their duties, um, they're referred to the Integrated Disability Evaluation System. If you're unable to perform your duties, this is like being med boarded. Um, the IDES was developed to bridge the gap between the DOD disability process and the VA disability process. Uh, I think bridge might be a strong word, but that's what it is. That's what they call it. So we'll run with that. Uh, the goal is to uh, simplify the process and, uh, you know, your disabilities will transfer over to uh, VA benefits um, as you're going through this process. So be aware of um, IDES. Um, huge, uh, huge thing that you could take advantage, especially if you're being med boarded. Uh, the VA Solid Start Program is another one. This helps uh, veterans or military, active duty military uh, transition to civilian life. And um, the Solid Start Program has a lot of resources available for you. And then the last one is the Transition Assistance Program. And they also provide information tools, training, and uh, help you and your spouses get ready for the transfer back to, to civilian life. Um, so let's go into the screen share here and uh, take a look at some of the uh, programs we have available. So the first one is the uh, Solid Start program here. Oops. Uh, transitioning from military to civilian life can be stressful. Um, getting a solid start, all positive stuff. I often um, joke about the... Uh, lack of marketing material that's available. Uh, it, it seems like the VA is actually doing more. This uh, Solid Start program started in December of 2019, so it's a new program, relatively new. I guess it's a year old now. Um, and this is something that you should get enrolled in and uh, be aware of. Representatives at the VA Solid Start program called newly separated veterans three times during the first year of separation. <clears throat> a specially trained representative will reach out to you 90, 180, and 365 days post-separation. Um, they're going to cover a bunch of different things, um, but just this alone is, is nice because just, you know, hey, have you filed your uh, VA claim yet? Have you got your disabilities together? If somebody just even asked me about that, that would have triggered me into thinking, wow, oh, I can actually file a claim. Uh, that wasn't available to me. There was no solid start. There was no start. It was get out and uh, have fun. So some of the common transition topics VA Solid Start can help you with are uh, medical and uh, dental care, 
time sensitive insurance programs, you know, like the uh, going from the service members group life insurance and converting to veterans group life insurance. That's one you're going to have to do. Uh, mental health resources, um, information on low and no down payment housing loans and refinancing options. You know, if you get out and you're looking to buy a house, um, they can help you and show you what your options are and interest rates are at an all time low right now. So that's definitely one you should look into. Um, educational assistance through the GI Bill. Uh, that's a big beast as well. Having somebody guide you through that process wouldn't be a bad idea. And then just kind of counseling assistance to kind of help you get your career um, post-service on track. Uh, I wanted to go over the integrated evaluation IDES uh, program a little bit. And basically, if you're getting med boarded out, they're going to have these pre-discharge uh, examination templates. And um, it says on here, these are, these are kind of like the DOD version of a DBQ, but not really. And, and I'll show you uh, just the foot one. You want to check everything out. You want to check your feet, your heart, your breathing, your sleep apnea, your uh, IBS, your GERD, all the different body parts, mental health, migraines. You want to check all of them out because the more things that you uh, find in your body that you're able to file a claim for, you can avoid pyramiding. And you can have 100% um, permanent total when you walk out the door if you have the problems, obviously, if you deserve the compensation, but if, more importantly, if you do it right. So let's look at this uh, feet examination. And I recommend that every veteran gets their uh, feet checked out because the boots sucked and uh, we got beat up. Uh, while we're in. So, um, you know, looking for pain, weakness, stiffness, swelling, heat, redness, fatigability, lack of endurance, you know. Um, here's the severity, frequency, and duration word right here. Uh, that translates directly over to the rating criteria for feet conditions um, in VA law. If you're wearing uh, crutches, brace, cane, corrective shoes, shoe inserts, shoe inserts are another uh, marker if you're filing a VA claim for foot conditions. You have any hospitalizations? Um, how does the uh, how do your feet problems affect uh, your usual occupation, occupational and daily activities? This is translated directly over to social and occupational impairment. So this is like the these forms are like the precursor. Uh, kind of teeing up your VA claim so you're already starting to uh, get the this kind of jargon in here. You know, your social and occupational impairment. Are you wearing the shoe, shoe inserts, which is necessary to show severity of symptoms? And um, the severity, frequency, and duration. Uh, the uh, TAPS program is the uh, last one I want to kind of go over. Um, the Transition Assistant Program provides information, tools, and training to help service members and their spouses get ready to successfully transfer out. Again, um, some of these things have overlapping qualities to them, but get enrolled in all three of them and uh, make sure that you're, uh, you know, if you have overlap, that's fine. I had no lap at all. Uh, a lot of these things like, oh, you have to do this. That would have been nice to know. If you have two of these organizations, kind of working on the same problem, that's good. Hey, hey, TAP, I already have uh, the VA Solid Start program helping me on that, but thank you.